Hello friends, I'm back. So today we're not going to make an app. Today let's explore Tunkable components and blocks. So today we're going to do a lot of things. We're going to try. This is going to be a long video, but watch till the end so that you can get a bigger look at Tunkable. So let's start. See here I have it. Mm hmm yeah today we're gonna make create the map uh let's say we're gonna call it everything okay and we're gonna select commerce community games information mapping let's create so here we have it a new app first box so here we have let's, let's go to design we're having a button a button is where you click as an event to trigger here you go let me say if you click, I get when button one click, let's go and set cancel set text in button one, I mean label one to a success. So here I have cool. Next, let's go to design and let's live test it. Wait a minute. Undo it. Preview. Let me see. Putin success. Yeah, this is an event I told you about in the last few videos. Okay, let me move here. So next, we're gonna delete this, and in the last videos, I taught you a lot about button and text, all this web viewer. Now, let me delete these blocks, and I'm gonna show a list viewer. What is a list viewer? We're gonna set the text items to. Mm, let's say lists. Mm, sorry, list delimiter. When screen one stats, I mean stats. Let me get the text. Say hello. Hello, comma space. Hi, space. What? Comma space. Cool. Okay, so here we have it. Now, what I'm gonna do with delimiter delete, I'm gonna take a text here, plus comma, and do not forget this space one. Space. Let me put this. Cool. Okay, let's got a design. Preview. Here we have it. And it doesn't come. Wait a minute. I think so. I'm gonna click edit. Let's go to the live test. Wait, it's not coming. Preview. 
Yay, see. Wait a minute. I'm gonna set the list viewer to show arrow. Let me get a button. And put in one click. Set. Wait a minute. Set a visible. Let me duplicate it. First, we're going to set the False. Next, then boot in one click, set visible to true. Now, let's, sorry, I mean, preview and boot in. Hello. Okay. Like this, you can make. So, now I'm going to the most curious thing in the whole designing data how to store a data in sign-in form say a lot of apps have sign-in but do you know how to make these apps with sign-in i'll teach you actually there is a, also a sign-in component in authentication here authentication but i don't like it because it only says set email and password but i in my own view perspective i say that i want a lot more things like name so i mostly use local storage it is in data over here let me show you this one cool okay so i think this will work into invisible components let's go let's leave these blocks and next say and a lot of problems i will solve you know tiktok how does it take data in local storage it only takes the data but how can the maker like you know the user's name and all this i'll teach you how let me take two text inputs Boom. yeah so here we're going to type email so i'm going to set this email type to email address well this one we're going to take Phone pad, phone. Let's go here. Okay, control. Wait a minute. Then put in one click. Text input one. Get text and local storage call save. value and key that was email so we're gonna set that to e mail okay now we're gonna take another screen and in this screen two we're going to have two labels and i'll tell you one thing if box if you can set your own password in text input to get text logic this equals text to 
say I'm going to take a random password. Like, say, R, T, U, E. No, not this one. Say, F, R, A, R, B, far. Say, this is my password. Then, navigate to screen two. Okay. Because there, I'll tell you what we are going to do. Call storage, call save. Key, phone, value, get text from text into one, get text. Okay, screen two, cancel, set text and label two. And screen to start set text and label two and label one two wait a minute I get something wrong let me get logo storage call get and duplicate it then Value phone and here email. Cool. Preview. Sorry, screen one. What was our password? F A R B. Say our phone is mm, G H. Say, type here. Mm, what was F A R B? F A R B. Mm, where's B? Okay. Put in. Here you go. Here. Mm. Wait a minute. Didn't get there. Ah. Uh, going to. Wow. Ha. Something wrong. Now let's preview it. Sorry. Screen one. Preview. Mm -hmm. Say dan 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 dan. Here we're gonna write that far. Mm hmm. Un far no far no. Cool. Okay, this was the lesson for local storage and sign in. So, this is what now I've taught you web viewer in the browser app video. Next, let's go to PDF reader. We're gonna see that and delete screen one as well. Let's plus. Here we're gonna set. Mm, where was that PDF layer? PDF. PDF. Hmm. So file. Upload files. Anyone. Let's say. Mm, my one. 
and file close made it bold say mm -hmm. cool okay this will be on my phone so I will show you now this was my PDF so I like this gif so I just put it into the PDF reader and see it on my mobile cool right you can also use the PDF reader to put in files so have you seen terms and conditions when you sign in, there is a, I agree to terms and conditions. If you see that there is a link to the terms and conditions, and you can't make a website, but an app, you can just set a screen in which you can give a PDF reader, and then put the PDF in the in which the terms and conditions are there. Okay, so bye bye. This is what is for this video.